Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video tutorial. Over the next couple of minutes I'm going to show you how to properly set up the WP Shortcode plugin for use with your My Theme Shop theme. So you need to start off by downloading the plugin and there are two places you can do this. You can either go to wordpress.org and do a search on the plugin directory for WP Shortcode or you can go to the My Theme Shop member area at mythemeshop.com slash go slash member and download the plugin from there which is what I'm going to do in this video. So you can see I'm logged in, I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom for the plugin and expand on WP Shortcode and just click download plugin files and that's going to download onto my computer. With the download complete you want to head to your WordPress dashboard and then go to plugins and click add new. We're now going to install the plugin and you just want to go to upload and then now we're going to select the zipped file you've just downloaded so choose file and now you just want to select that file you've just downloaded. Press open and then install now and WordPress is now going to upload that plugin, install it and you just now need to activate it. And now you have the WP Shortcode plugin installed and activated on your site. So with the plugin up and running you now need to know how to use it. You can use the shortcodes on any post or page and I'm going to show you how to use a couple of them now by creating a new post and showing you some of the shortcodes available to you. So I'll just give this the title of test shortcodes and now I'm going to add a couple of shortcodes and I do this by pressing this new button on your menu here, add custom shortcode. And this is where the WP Shortcode plugins shortcodes are selected. So I'm going to start off by adding a button perhaps, um, so go for a nice blue button. And here I can add all the parameters here, so I'll just leave the URL blank there. Um, and you can, you can add perhaps target blank to open a new window, position it left or right, and put the content text there. So we'll just go for this is a button as my text, and insert that. And you can see that outputs the text which will make the shortcode once the post is published. Um, on a new line now I'm going to add an alert box, again press add custom shortcode, choose the one I want, so we'll go for a alert success thing, congratulations, and then insert that, and you can see that shortcode has been inserted using the same syntax as in the first one. If I'd like to split my post into columns, I can select these shortcodes here. And if I'd like to have uh, perhaps my post in thirds, then I'll add a one third section here. And then we'll go for a two third column after that. And as that's going to be the last column, um, I want to select the two thirds last section. And that's added some nice columns to my post. If I'd like to add some videos from YouTube or Vimeo perhaps, then I can select the shortcodes here. So I can just paste in the ID of the video I'd like here, and then I'll leave those parameters as they are and just click insert to add the Vimeo video, and the same for a YouTube video, just add custom shortcode. And I want the YouTube video there, and I just need to paste in the ID. And again, I'll leave those parameters blank. You get those IDs just by looking at the URL of the video you want to add in. So just press insert there, and that's added my YouTube video. If I want to add perhaps a Google map, then simple as selecting the right shortcode. Putting in an address, so I'll go for London, UK, and insert that. And perhaps if I'd like some tabs area, then again, just drop down the shortcode, press tabs, and here you can see you can add in the title you want and then the content for each tab section there. And you can spend a bit of time customizing that so you get some nice tabs there. Um, perhaps now I'll drop in a divider. So I'll go for a divider top there. And that's going to uh, add in a divider with a link to the top of the page. If it was just using the standard divider, then that would take out the top area. Um, and finally, we'll just drop in the clear shortcode which is going to make sure nothing gets dropped off the bottom and just click insert. So now if I click publish then I've got this huge list of shortcodes which is now going to display on my blog once those have been published. So now I'm going to view that post and you'll see I now have the button, the congratulations box, the two column section, the video from Vimeo, the video from YouTube the Google Maps, my tabbed area here, 
this link back to the top and you'll see it's cleared because nothing is overflowing on the bottom. If I wanted to change any of those parameters then perhaps make the video bigger then I could just drop, go back to the shortcode and drop in a width there so it was the right width for my site. And if I wanted to change the alignment to any of these then I could also do that just by going back into the settings. And that's all there is to it. If you have any queries then don't hesitate to contact the support team who will be more than happy to help you. But best of luck with your site and thank you very much for watching. Thank you.